I think I just wanted to get out of London. I'd been there for like five years, I was getting a bit bored. Um, I wanted to travel, but I didn't want to give up my job. So I found Wi-Fi Tribe on the internet. And um, I think I did my interview and then signed up to join them in about three days. So it was kind of naught to 100 pretty quickly. Um, and the reason I joined them is probably because of the community. They're very focused on like getting a good group of people together, which for me was the, the thing I wanted, like meet other people doing this that I would get on with. So they interview everyone that applies. And I think actually there's only so many people that they accept into the tribe because they ask you some quite personal questions and you know to find out who you are, what your values are. And I think after that conversation, I realized that it was probably gonna be a group of people I wanted to be a part of just because Diego, who I spoke with, seemed just quite inspirational, really. So I was like, oh, it's a group of people like this. Then yeah, I wanna go hang out with them for a month, so. I wanted to come to Gran Canaria because I wanted to practice my Spanish, which is terrible. Um, and because I've heard a lot about the food, the culture, um, it's very outdoorsy, there's a lot of stuff you can go and see here. Uh, they've got dunes and beaches and mountains and stuff, so it kind of had everything. Um, and being here in Las Palmas, you also have the city as well, so. I work for a fintech company in London, so they can kind of do most things online. Um, I have quite a few meetings during the day, but the Wi-Fi here is so good that you can have video calls all day and you're gonna be fine. So um, I can do all my calls. I have enough space that if I need to go and sit and actually look at some code and concentrate, I can go and do that and not get distracted by everyone else. Um, and yeah, it's just quite flexible. And I have a very understanding manager who's totally fine with me being here, which is lovely. I think if you're open-minded and you like experiencing new things, but you kind of also like to have a bit of a routine, that's probably the best. So you kind of 50-50 on adventure and then routine and work life. So like equal balance, because um, you can do both. Because for me, I didn't want to just go and travel because I thought I would just get bored of um, just running around enjoying myself. That sounds really weird, but enjoying myself all the time. I think I need the like the work bit to appreciate it a bit more. I don't know if that makes sense. I want to go and visit, see the, the sand dunes in the south. I'd quite like to do some, there's some hikes here that look really, really good. So going out and walking. Um, to be honest, just lying by a beach sounds pretty good right about now, because the weather's nice. Um, and eating lots of seafood. We were in Costa Rica, working in a surf camp in the middle of the jungle. And that was my office. There were no walls, there were iguanas running over the roof every day. We could hear them like scuttling over us while we were doing our calls. And I think doing that and being able to walk to the beach in five minutes and then see like one of the best sunsets I've ever seen in my life. I was sat there, I was like, I can't believe I'm doing this. This is crazy. Yeah.